Our topic today is the naturally occurring anticoagulants in the body. First, let's remind ourselves of the difference between an antiplatelet and an anticoagulant. Antiplatelets inhibit the activities of platelet plug formation or makes platelets less likely to stick to one another. Another term for antiplatelet is a blood thinner. On the other hand, anticoagulants inhibit clotting factors in the clotting cascade to prevent the formation of a fibrin clot. Three important naturally occurring anticoagulants include antithrombin and protein C, both made by the liver, and tissue factor pathway inhibitor, or TFPI, made by the endothelial cells that line blood vessels. The naturally occurring anticoagulants inactivate several clotting factors. Antithrombin becomes activated when it binds to heparin-like molecules expressed by endothelial cells. Activated antithrombin will then inactivate the clotting factors thrombin, factor 10A, factor 12A, factor 11A, and factor 9A. Protein C is activated by thrombomodulin, expressed by endothelial cells that forms a complex with thrombin. The activation of protein C is enhanced by protein S. Activated protein C inactivates factor 8A and factor 5A. Tissue factor pathway inhibitor, or TFPI, is made by endothelial cells and inactivates tissue factor factor 7A complexes, as well as factor 10A. The body makes anticoagulants to keep the coagulation cascade in check. Disseminated intravascular coagulation, or DIC, is a condition of widespread coagulation throughout the vasculature of the body that can be life-threatening. DIC is more likely to occur in individuals with low levels of naturally occurring anticoagulants. Venous thrombotic events like deep vein thrombosis, abbreviated DVT, and pulmonary embolism, abbreviated PE, are also more likely to occur in individuals who express reduced levels of these anticoagulants. Here now is a summary of the inhibition of clotting factors by the naturally occurring anticoagulants shown in red, including antithrombin, active protein C, and tissue factor pathway inhibitor, or TFPI. Please pause the video for review. Can you answer the following questions? Pause the video and consider your answers. If you answered false, for all of the questions, you are correct. Thanks for watching.